Hello, Virgo. <clears throat> Welcome to your readings at the round table. I'm Jennifer. This is Mouse, and this is Jasmine, who just decided to peek her head in. Just doesn't want to be left out. Well, Mouse has left like an abundance of hair all over me. I don't even know why I try to wear dark colors, but I do love them. I mean, I love bright colors too, but. All right, Virgo, <clears throat> this is a reading for the week of February 20th. This is a general reading, Virgo, so if it resonates with you, that's great, and if it doesn't, that's okay. Make sure you check out your sun, moon, and rising sign because sometimes you will resonate more with your moon or your rising sign than you do with your sun sign. <sighs> the week of February 20th, Virgo, this is a great week because the sun is in your opposite sign of Pisces opposite you know on the astrology wheel and um and the moon the new moon on february 20th also in pisces so there is no current well on the 20th i looked at the astrology there's no big squares there's no big oppositions there's nothing major happening with the astrology of that day so the new moon in pisces is a wonderful time of manifesting this is a great time of manifesting because we've got the sun in Pisces, we've got the moon in Pisces, and there's no major squares. There's nothing like seriously opposing this moon. So this is a great time to manifest. This is a great time to set things like set the direction for where you want to go, what you want to do. We're still relatively in the beginning part of the year. Okay, we're ha we're almost done with the second month. <laughs> so, uh, we're more than halfway through the month, but this is a great time to manifest. I mean, there's still 10 more months left in the year. So, this is a wonderful time to manifest and just say, this is what I want for the year. This is where I want my life to go. This is where I want my business to go. This is where I want my like my relationships to go. What direction is it that you're you're looking to go or do you need some discipline do you need some determination what is it that you need Virgo what is it that you're looking for so let's see what we got for you today I know I'm rather excited about this can you tell But it's just, I think it's just great because like the last few full moons and new moons that we had all the way back to October, there was some crazy stuff happening with them. There was some crazy aspects happening astrologically. And now we're finally, like we finally have a new moon that's just like, it's great. We're just sailing into it. Mm -hmm. Very excited about it. I'm very excited about it. So... Let's see what we got for you. I do love this deck. Aren't they gorgeous cards? Oh, by the way, all the decks that I'm using, all the advice cards, all the decks that I'm using will be in the description below. Um, I've gotten a couple emails from people wanting to know about them. They're in the description below. Okay, this is a lot, three out of the five cards are feathers cards, which is mental energy, um, it's the sword cards in the traditional tarot, let's take a look at them, okay, so we've got the queen of feathers, which is uh, perception and truth, um, the two of feathers, decisions and direction, the Ten of Feathers, oh my gosh, I've had this for somebody already today. Recovery and Transformation, the Nine of Shells, Gratitude and Fulfillment, and the Ace of Shells, um, Happiness and Abundance. Okay, so I feel like for you, Virgo, what you've been asking for or what, what the universe is bringing you is they're bringing you a way for you to see things clearly 
for you to see the truth in whatever these endeavors are that you have. Whether you're trying to grow a relationship, whether you're trying to grow a business, whether you're trying to um, bring in money, um, like do renovations to your house. Oh, don't ask. Um, Cause you know, it hasn't stopped with me. But the thing is, they're trying to bring you, um, they're trying to bring you clear vision. I feel like perception, perception and truth here. They're trying to bring you clear vision of like, maybe there are some hard decisions that you have to make and you're finally seeing clearly. You're finally looking at things with clear vision and you're just going, okay, okay, here's what we're going to have to do. And Honestly, the Queen of Feathers is analogous to the Queen of Swords in the traditional tarot. And the Queen of Swords is someone who, who can make those hard decisions. She's the one that is looking like she's like just going, okay, okay. I'm, I'm taking a look at the bigger picture here. What is it that we have to do? She doesn't mind making those hard decisions. So I feel like this is where you are, Virgo. Um, the Two of Feathers is again decisions and direction but this time we're at a crossroads this time we're at the crossroads energy where you're just like okay what do I need you know which way is it that I want to go forward <clears throat> and if you're starting a business Virgo if you're um, if you're starting a relationship or you're starting a business or if you're starting a new job whatever this is you begin in the way that you want to continue. So think about that when you're at this crossroads energy. Begin the way that you want to go forward. Start now and just say, you know what? This is where I want to be in five years. I'm going to start this now. I'm going to start like building this now because I know where I want to be. And But you know in five years you still want to be organized you still want to be in love you still want to be like um in control of your money or whatever so you look at those crossroads and you those decisions and direction look at where you really want to be and say all right that's this is where i'm headed that's where i'm going the recovery and transformation this is kind of interesting because there is something that you're going to need to leave behind the the recovery and transformation card is a snake it's a snake so this is the snake sheds its skin i don't know like six to eight times in its life and i, I don't know if that's species specific or it, like if they all if all the snakes do this like that period of time that many times but the thing is um this is a time of you like shedding off the old and just going, okay, I made this decision. I'm letting go of the old way of thinking. I'm letting go of this way. I'm looking at things in a different light. I'm looking at things with a new set of eyes and releasing the old and moving forward. The nine of shells is the, just this great card, gratitude and fulfillment. I feel like once you let go of the old way of thinking, once you let go of that misconception, maybe even about yourself and you transform this, you're going to be in such a great place of fulfillment, gratitude, and because you're already feeling grateful for what's coming in for you and it is true fulfillment. It's what you, it's what you've really wanted is getting what you truly have like wished for. The Ace of Shells is even better. It's abundance and happiness. The, and the Ace of Shells, look at this. This is a sea turtle. Oh my gosh. You know, they're so gorgeous. But the sea turtle is, I feel like this is such an amazing representation because this is like a new emotional beginning. This is like a new start of a happiness and abundance where you know it is never going to end. This happiness and this fulfillment that's coming in for you is because you have let go of what is no longer working for you and you have now exposed this fresh layer of who you are and what you're presenting to the world. That's going to get you to where you truly want to be. It is. And the thing is, 
It's because you've asked to see the truth in the situation. You've asked to see like, what is it? What is it that I'm doing to hold myself back? Or what is it that I can do to get myself to where I want to go? They're showing you a clear, a, a clear vision here. Mm. Boy, that's freaking awesome. I mean, showing you the vision of what it is you need to see so that you can move forward, so that you can make these hard decisions. So, because the queen of feathers can make these hard decisions and letting go. Yeah. Let go of what's no longer working for you. Just be like, all right, it's time to change it up. I love this. And what's on the other end of that is something truly great. It's just like these, uh, like getting everything that you've wanted, getting that fulfillment of your dreams and your wishes and feeling the abundance of that new emotional beginning, that abundance of happiness and joy. I mean, every time a sea turtle is depicted in cartoons, they're happy. They're laid back. That's what we need to see. <laughs> All right, one more, I promise. Okay, so up here, we had all of these, like, uh, swords cards or feathers cards, which is all mental energy. And down here, we have all of the major arcana cards. Okay, so we start off with the high priestess. Oh, and I really, really love this card from this deck because I want you to see, like, when you turn it one way, it looks like... Can you see, like, I know I don't have the best light for this card. You, It looks like her eyes are open when you turn it one way, and then the other way it looks like her eyes are closed. Do you see? Like, there her eyes look like they're open, and when you turn it this way, it looks like they're closed. I just wanted to point that out before I moved on. And the next card is the Judgment card. The Magician. The Eight of Swords and the Page of Cups. Mm, mm, mm. I love it. Okay, so we start out with the High Priestess here. And the High Priestess in this deck is, again, truly phenomenal because in one area it looks like her eyes are closed and the next it looks like her eyes are open. This is such a wonderful card because this is a lot of wisdom that's coming in. This is a, really a lot of psychic abilities and faith. Faith is a huge component of the high priestess. She knows what's going on, whether her eyes are open or closed. She's in it. I mean, look, even her third eye here is like highlighted. She has like the balance of energy, dark on one side, light on the other. There's a balance of energy here. There's certain chemistry here of faith and, um, and really like that ability to stay connected to spirit and wisdom. Like she accumulates wisdom. And I think that's an important component as well. I know. I love this. Oh my gosh. The judgment card. The judgment card is your self-realization. It's that epiphany. It's being, again, being able to see something clearly. Being able to see like that you, it, it's all within you. This, what she's dreaming about is literally inside of her. It's that, it, it's that self-realization and just going, I got it. I got it. I can do this. Because this is literally inside of her. Now, I say that to say this. The Magician card is a card of, it, yeah, it's a card of magic. But it's a card of reinvention. Yeah. It's a card of reinvention. It's a card of creating your own reality. 
And that's exactly what's going on here. Look at this. The energy is coming out of his arm, moving around and coming back into the other side of their body, looping back around. It's a constant, it's a constant, um, like never ending infinity cycle of like energy in and out. We're, we're sending it down to the universe, having spirit transmute it, coming back into you uh, like more powerful coming out going back in this is a wonderful card of reinvention this is a wonderful card of seeing that there is never a lack that there's always there's always enough this is fantastic the eight of swords card is a card of having you realize that the only thing that is stopping you is you the only thing that is stopping you is an illusion. It's negativity. You are binding yourself up with negativity. You're binding yourself up with like uh, just feeling tied down, feeling like you don't have any options. When you do have options, you always have an option. It may not be ones that you like, but you always have an option. The thing is, it's in the thing, all these things that are holding you back are an illusion. That feeling of being held back, that's an illusion. And she gets it. She's seeing it because she's looking in the mirror and she's seeing that there's nothing actually holding her back. It's just the illusion of it. And the page of cups, the page of cups is such a wonderful card because this is this is an attracting energy. It's not as strong of an attractor as the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is the strongest attracting energy in the tarot. Okay, at least in the court cards. But it's the strongest attracting energy. Not manifesting. Attracting in. Yes, there's a difference. So when we're manifesting something, we're, we're like putting in the effort to get there to get us to where we want to go. When we're attracting it, it's because this is where we are right now and we're bringing it to us. We have that focus, that intention, that a, a law of attraction energy happening where we're drawing in what it is that we want. And that's what you're doing. This is definitely you're drawing it in. It's just, this is more like heart wishes, you know? This is more like, okay, I can make this happen. I can make this happen. And it certainly has to do with the emotional component here. You know, it certainly has to do, it could be like romance, but it could be something that you're just passionate about, Virgo. This could be about romance, yes, but this could also be about your investments. I know Virgos. I mean, there's so many Virgos in my family. But this could be about your investments. This could be about your home. This could be about a business that you're building or a business that you're in, your career path. This is about you being passionate about the way that you're going, the way that you're, you're um, turning. Mm. Oh my gosh. I'm loving, loving, loving this because I feel like you have been making changes you've been making so many changes in your life like incremental changes and as you're making these changes you're discovering more about yourself you're discovering the things that you do want to hold on to and the things that you truly need to let go in order to get where you want to go you're discovering the things about you that you that self-realization, you're discovering those things about you. You're like, I never would have thought I could do this. I never thought that I could do this. This is, this is an opportunity to really reinvent yourself. And the only thing that's holding you back is those negative, negative thoughts, negative feelings. And it may not even be coming from you, Virgo. Although I know, I know you're picky because like preaching to the choir here. But the thing is, this, the only thing that's holding you back is those negative feelings, those negative things that's floating through your head. And is that really what you want to hold you back? Is it? Come on, you're better than that. 
So focus on what it is that you want to attract into you because that's what's coming in. Look at everything with clear eyes because they're trying to show you like this is if this is what you want, you're you have some decisions to make, but you're going to be able to see clearly. You're going to be the, be able to see the truth about the matter and really walk away from what's no longer serving you. This is a fantastic spread. I'm very excited, Virgo. I think so far today, this is my favorite reading. Hmm. I know. I'm not just saying that either. I just love this because the judgment card really keeps giving me the impression that you're finally realizing that everything that you've truly wanted to be it's already inside you. You just got to let her out. <laughs> or him. You know, whatever. There's male Virgos in my family as well. always mispronounce this name. I think it's Sur Surinanos. I gotta look it up and see like how badly I'm butchering it. But I love it. The swan. I don't think I've pulled that card in a while. Hmm. Oh, hello. All right. I'll take it. I don't always take out the take the pop out cards, but you know, I I kind of dig it. I mean, I have a friend um, who's a client. She's also a reader, and she only reads the pop out cards, which I totally get. My cat sat on my glasses and they've gotten twisted. So, I know. Okay, life force. Oh, that's a handsome fella, huh? Um, express your driving passion. Sensual and sexual powers are increased. Express your driving passion. Follow your passion. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, the swan, awaken the power of self-beauty. Ah. Swan accepts what future what the future presents with grace. Sorry, that sounded weird. Swan accepts what the future presents with grace. By living with conscious grace, your own self-transformation will allow your future to see and honor your intuition and your beautiful self, just as it is in the present. Love yourself. You are lovely like a lotus. And as you unfold, you can see the beauty in others. I think this is about self-realization here. Mm hmm. I like that. Your own self-transformation tra will allow your future to see and honor your intuition. Hmm. I like that. Okay, oregano. Mm -hmm. The emotional aspects of oregano, it releases anger, feeling peeved, prideful, and feeling strong-willed. Hmm, not you, Virgo. <laughs> it instills humility, flexibility, and release of control. It creates the ability to release the need to control, creates humility to encourage growth, and a healthier connection with self and your creator. The centering thought, I release my need to control and to always be right. Aha, Virgo. 
I see the value in others and their individuality. I release the toxic relationships in my life. Let go of that. Um, and the affirmation, why is it so easy for me to be humble? And the chakras are the heart and the throat. You know, it's not bad. It's not a bad thing to be humble. It's not. And honestly, I, I know a lot of Virgos. I know a lot of Virgos. I mean, there's three in my house. And in my family, there's just a ton. But the thing is, like, it's not that we have a problem with being humble. We have a problem with being humiliated. And uh, the biggest thing is, is that it's not that we want to control every aspect of the situation. Usually we just know what's right. And it's hard for us to let go of, well, maybe that's not right. Maybe that's the wrong way to go. <laughs> I mean, we're usually not wrong. <laughs> okay. I'm wrong a lot. So I can disprove that theory of Virgos not being wrong because I'm wrong a lot. Thank you so much for joining me today, Virgo. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful new moon. I hope this is a fantastic week. Don't forget to check out some of my other awesome videos that are on this channel, as well as my other channel, Metaphysical Roundtable. Um, but some of my other shows that are on this channel and your monthly numerology. Yeah. And again, Virgo, until, I, until we meet next... Get out there and make your magic. Bye.